The best way to ensure accurate conductance measurements is to calibrate the parameter before taking measurements. We recommend that the parameter be calibrated every day that it is used or every time it is used under a different set of environmental conditions. It is especially important to recalibrate the parameter after you install the desiccant chamber. To perform your own calibration, you will need a calibration kit from Decagon. If you do not have a calibration kit, please contact support at decagon.com. Please have your sensor head serial number available. Before you begin the calibration, place one of the plastic beads included with your kit into the aperture of the sensor head, like so. The bead will help mix the air in the chamber, expediting the equilibration process. Once the bead is inserted, close the sensor head clip. Keep the clip closed to prevent the bead from falling out. Check to make sure that desiccant has been loaded into the screw cap and that the cap is securely attached to the sensor head. To start calibration, select the Calibrate option on the Configuration Calibration submenu. It is important that the parameter sensor head, calibration block, and DI water are all in thermal equilibrium with the environment where measurements will be taken. It may take upwards of 10 minutes for this to happen, depending on the differences between storage and measurement conditions. The temperature of the sensor will display on the screen. Press Enter to proceed to the next step. You will be prompted to enter the sensor head serial number. This number can be found on a tag attached to the sensor head. Before beginning a calibration, the leaf parameter checks to make sure that the two sensors in the sensor head agree well with each other. For the sensors to agree, the air in the diffusion path should be well mixed. To do this, you will need to wave the sensor head up and down, enabling the bead inside to mix the air. Remember to keep the sensor head closed while waving it in the air to ensure equilibration and prevent loss of the bead. As the sensors come to equilibrium, you should see the indicator bar move closer to the 0% offset line. Once the sensor readings stabilize and are confirmed to be within 2% relative humidity of each other, the calibration routine automatically advances to the next screen. The next step is to saturate a piece of filter paper included in your kit. Use tweezers to pick up a disc of filter paper and then add one drop of deionized water to saturate it. Allow several seconds for the water to fully saturate the filter paper. The best method of ensuring proper wetness of the filter paper is to use the wet and flick method. The resulting paper should glisten, but there should be no drop of excess water clinging to the disc. After wetting the filter paper, lay it flat over the hole in the calibration plate on the side marked filter paper. Make sure the paper covers the entire hole and lays flat. Turn the calibration plate over and carefully examine the hole to make sure that no meniscus of excess water is present in the hole. If excess water is observed, remove the filter paper, dry the calibration plate, and repeat the wet and flick procedure with a more aggressive flick. With the moist filter paper in place, press enter on the parameter control unit. You will be prompted to place the sensor head onto the calibration plate. It is important that the head be placed over the calibration plate quickly as seen here. Be sure to seat the sensor head firmly against the hard stop on the calibration plate like so. Once the sensor head is attached to the calibration plate, the leaf parameter will automatically sense the calibration plate and begin the first calibration measurement. While the sensor head is in measuring mode, be sure to align it so that the aluminum block is facing down. Take caution not to shake, tilt, or touch the metal block on the sensor head while the measurement is being taken. This ensures that the bead will settle to the bottom and not interfere with the diffusion path. After 30 seconds, the measurement will be completed, and the parameter screen will prompt you to equilibrate the two humidity sensors once more. Again, do this by waving the sensor head in a vertical motion in order for the bead inside the chamber to mix the air. Once the two sensors equilibrate, you will be prompted to attach the sensor head to the calibration plate and take a second equilibration measurement. Again, do this part quickly to prevent the chamber from reading the ambient air. This process will be repeated until three consecutive measurements are all within 7.5% of each other. This usually will occur after three to five readings. Once the calibration is complete, press Enter to save it into the handheld unit and the following screen is displayed. At this point, it is a good idea to take a couple verification readings to ensure the parameter is reading correctly. Immediately after the calibration is saved, verify the reading. Go to the measurement menu on the screen and press Enter to take a reading. Clamp the sensor head over the calibration plate. The reading should be between 216 to 264 millimoles per meter squared per second. For more information, call 509 332-5600 or email support at decagon.com.